Just after the first of this year, the Postal Service began an advanced new method of delivering the mail, and what it was called is Electronic Computer Originated Mail, or it's called ECOM. What it was supposed to do is to help business with high volume mail operations, but it's not working as well as it should, as Lee McCurran reports. This standard computer terminal can give you an idea of how to use the Postal Service ECOM system if you happen to be a large business and you've got thousands of letters to mail. A company types out a form letter on its own computers and then transmits the wording over the regular telephone lines to the Postal Service. That's where ECOM takes over. The ECOM computers transmit that computer message letter over telephone lines to its eventual destination in another city. In that other city, the letter gets printed out and hundreds or thousands of copies are made. They get stuffed into envelopes, put into the regular first class mail system and delivered hopefully within two days. We can't show you the actual system in operation because postal service officials say that will violate the privacy of the mails. But the ECOM equipment in San Francisco's post office was shut down for testing today, so we were allowed inside. The main problem with the system right now is that simply not enough people are using it. These are high-speed printers. There are dozens of these stationed in large post offices all across the country, six of them here in San Francisco. And each of them can print upwards of 5,000 letters per hour going at full bore. But the ECOM system only sent 5,000 letters all last week. That means that despite all that printing capacity, just one of these printers could have printed the entire ECOM volume in only an hour. In order for ECOM to be a success, that's got to change. The Postal Service had predicted a volume during 1982 of 20 million letters, or 385,000 per week. But in its first 10 weeks of existence, ECOM has delivered an average of 6,650 per week, or about 98% below expectations. Before a company can use ECOM, its computers must be certified as compatible with the Postal Service computers. Nelson Wong of the Postal Service says that is one reason the system is currently underused. The customers are, at this present time, who have signed up for the system, um, it has to be certified before they can use the system. And uh, a few of the companies are having pro problems with the uh, certification, the programming involved in making uh, their system and our system compatible. The price is low, though, 26 cents for one page. That includes mailing, printing, and the envelope. But Ecom can't stuff a letter with an advertising brochure or a return envelope. Business people aren't happy about that. And there's a minimum order of 200 copies of each letter that must be sent to each destination. That's more than some people want to send. So things aren't going well. Rain, sleet, snow, and gloom of night may be no problem, but the Postal Service does seem to have problems with mail by computer. In San Francisco, Lee McCarran, Channel 7 News.